Hello guys, welcome back. Nice to see you again. Today we are going to play Amazon Nature again. 10 games in the weekend ranked. Oh no, it's not weekend ranked. Just normal P2E. And right after that, I'm going to play an Outlaws of Thunder Junction Quick Draft in Magic the Gathering Arena today. So the stream is not going to be as long as yesterday, I guess, but I hope it's going to be cool. Let's find a match and let's throw, fire up some arrows for oh, opponents. Yes. So, just starting up. What kind of deck we are playing again? Hmm. Magic. Ramp magic. Playing Hawtark and Ember Own. And Arandion, Snow Shaper Palace 2. Ah, uh, that might not be too easy. Let's try. We got a warded creature in the beginning, that's good. We have two one drops, I'll keep. So... Let's see. Hang on, but he does, I guess we start with... Good luck. I hope it's going to be alright. Safe guard is fine, so we can deal good free damage. Audit guy. Hmm. Have you play mutation deck? <laughs> Hello, Raka. Yes, I tried that. It's a good deck for sure. And I'm making use of mutation in in my Amazon deck too. I play one of those four mana guys. With three, five front line that can sacrifice a creature and gives you as much mutation as the mana cost wear. Um, I think actually wanna play another box one protector. We also go for God Power. That's enough for now. Russian primal guidance, the hunt. Uh, I'm not sure about it, but I'll take the hunt here in this case. Uh, the Let's primal guidance, I mean. Because I think we are pretty fast now. We need to keep the pressure high and primal guidance, we can do that. Echo is easy. Like this. Yes. Just bump in. Play primal guidance. I don't need to take anything from this Sanctum yet. Shape Blast, no problem. Good that we played her and not Swordbreaker Sage. Swordbreaker Sage would have died. And deal 6. Probably 7 damage. I'm not quite sure about it. Uh, 
Guess we play Canopy Sniper to pop his ward. We'll hit the face. And let's play Crawling Madness 2 by sacrificing. So even if he has another shaped blast, we will stick with. Let's get the heal so he cannot get it. Tracking bolt. Ah, okay. Ah, he's finishing this one. Okay. Interesting. And worm breath. You gotta play worm breath on a 2 3. That's great. We're going for god power. Maybe we can find some overkill or something. Back of the Axolotl. Hmm. This is all not that great. Let's take Hollow Form just in case the game goes longer than expected. Face. Uh, yes, we'll take Ambitious Adventurer to play him. And Combat Medic just to get him to. Alright, with Landcaller Captain and Free Thornblade, we got more reach. I think this is going to be GG. Ah, uh, Hawtuck though. Hawtuck might be a problem. Hey, Trey! Hello, hello! Welcome back, man. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Um, I'm not sure what we are going to do now. I guess feed Tornblade and Landcaller Captain, and we just hope that one of the Landcaller Captain hits will hit the face. Yes. GG. Kinda in limbo before sleeping. How are you? Limbo is always a good place to be in, I guess. I'm doing good. It's just afternoon here. We're just going to play our 10 games of P2E and then I'll switch to Magic to play some Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Quick draft. It's great. I'm happy about card gaming these days. What do you know? Do you know what Limbo is? Yeah. It's this game where you are dancing under a pole. That's called Limbo. <laughs> Next opponent is War. Agro War, okay. Oh, looks like pretty aggressive Agro War. He's playing so many one drops. This is a crazy deck. He plays Crystal Seer Acolyte and Skeletal Hoplite and Planetar Acolyte. So many neutral one drops. Hmm. And with Rally the Band. Interesting deck. I think we are going to have problems here. Hmm. But I guess we have a pretty fast tent. We can keep that for going second. Good luck. Let's see. I'm worried. I'm re really worried. And Steel Rat is a good player. I think he knows what he's doing. Hmm, let's play Irina and Conscript, but I have a bad feeling about this. You are right, however, in this example, Limbo is the place between heaven and hell. It's like you're on an airplane, but you never leave. The tarmac and the flight keep getting delayed. Now this actually sounds not bad. I hope you are going to arrive soon. Oof. Yeah, Steel Red knows what he's doing. Damn. This is strong. Maybe 
Maybe I should have gone for God Power to maybe find a small removal, but I don't know. Ah, Enrage on him. That makes sense. Holy crap. We are in trouble. We are in big trouble. When we play Sanctum Guardian, he'll just trade it off with Skeletal Hoplite. Maybe I should have played River Jumper, but even then, he could finish him without losing a creature by bumping into him with Woodcutter and killing him with the hook. I think we cannot come back here, probably. Hmm. That was... Godfrey's Fury. Even not then. Since Skeletal Hoplite is not dying to Furtree's Fury. Hmm. Uh, let's see. What? Playing her and then getting this one right away? Crazy. Dude Control! Welcome back! Nice to see you, man. How are you doing? Let's finish his Valkyrie, but I guess we are going to die anyway. For now, I must rest. 5, 8, and 13, 14. GG, man, that's crazy. What a great aggro deck. Really, really, I'm impressed. And it is just $40. Guys, you should take a look at that. I am afraid this is cool. Doing good. Good luck with your games. Thank you, man. I'll need it. And good to hear that you are doing, doing good. Great. So, next opponent is Bitter Endings Death. Okay, that's that kind of death we don't like to face too much. We'll do our best. I'm not sure about the Torn Blade here. Mm, but the hand could get way worse. I'll keep it. Especially for going second, it might be alright. Good luck. Mm. The calm before the storm. Okay, let's start with her. And nightly. Oh, he's doing nothing. Wow. I didn't expect that. Let's play her to maybe ping a little next turn. We're going to six favor. We probably can grab Gleam Weaver next turn. Untold greed. Okay, but we can handle this. I think we definitely gotta get rid of those. Let's finish this. We're getting... Well, Eva, we grab Gleam to remove his Water Whelp and Brock Parasite. And I guess for, for the race, we play her too. I've done all that I can. Would have been great if he could have traded the 4 4 off without losing our Nightly Thunder, but I guess it's just not possible. Rock Drake is incoming. Okay. I can do this. okay. Let's play her. 
in this. I can't do that. That is not sure. possible. Guess we trade. And we pip into river jumper. Ding. Right. Ding him again. And then we hit the face with. I hope this is okay. Another egg. We need Archimonian Onslaught or something. Another Untold Greed. Oh, next Rock Drake is popping up. Hmm. So, oh, Divya! Wow. What a nice surprise. That top deck. Yeah. Thought it. Long time that I could finish a rock drake that early. Really crazy. So, next opponent is... Beth again. Madoba! GG! Hey, nice to see you! Oh, Siren! Yeah, okay, when you are lacking Siren, you have a problem against such an aggressive deck. And the top deck for Divya was just so insane. But, good game, though. Not it's dead. very unusual that I can finish any opponent that early, but Divya was just pushing so much damage with that big board. Crazy. Yeah, good match for sure. Usually... I think I have a actually not a good matchup against um, against the rock drakes because they usually can send my whole board easily to sleep. The only guys that are sticking from that are usually river jumper once and bark swarm protector because they have ward. But otherwise, I have a problem, especially when the board is pretty much full. Then comes the Siren and maybe Ragnarök or Sulfuric Rain and everyone sleeps and burns. So... Hmm, but what kind of death is this? It looks more like Bomb Dragon. Yeah, my sirens were at the bottom 15, that sucks. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I can imagine. And then, your deck is even already pretty consistent. You can draw pretty fast. And when I see, for example, playing people food chain, and they haven't looked for their food chain in any way, they have drawn like 9 cards, 21 are still in their deck, but they have their combo already. Then I'm just losing my mind. Okay, how do we deal with this broad parasite? Take a look where the boar is. Boar kills it, okay. Who chain has always two who chains in hand. Always. Yeah. I'm afraid so. Except, maybe, if they have no creatures. So, how do we deal with this thing? 
I'm feeling so uncomfortable with this. I don't know. Could bump into it and play Boa, but that's probably too slow. But I don't want to sacrifice my only Amazon. Come on. Let's pip into Deviation. Ah, another Crawling Madness. This is going to be good. As long as we have some creatures to sacrifice, actually. But I'm afraid he's going to trigger that from Void again. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Damn it. I was just thinking about you, Kenobi Carter. So... I guess we play V2 on Blade, Canopy... Then... We ping this and bump into it. And this guy dies to Canopy Snipe. And we are grabbing lootable corpse, so we have something to sacrifice for our crawling mat. Okay. We are too slow though. He's still at 26. Oh, and there's a siren. Oh no. Untold greed, so everybody sleeps for sure. He was getting rid of Flashbind, okay. Awaken. So... Does it make sense to play Crawling Madness anyway? Maybe... Oh, Akmonian. I'm afraid though he's going to send us to sleep again. Right away. But if he could get ready to for a swing. My patience wears thin. Or oh, Amazons. Amazons is 12 additional damage. Ah, that's Canopy Corda, okay. Damn, maybe I shouldn't have played actually lootable corps. We don't have enough space for our aunts. Rust away, blessing of nature and photogenesis. We are not getting to seven mana, aren't we? He's not playing any relics. We don't need Reagan, really. Take it anyway. Maybe he's playing Sulfuric Rain and that could save the bigger Amazons. Come on, attack the frontline guy. No! Damn it. So we cannot finish him. Such a pity. This has gone on long enough. We just go to sleep. To combat medic. So. Oh, Druid of the Cycle. Hmm. Guess we gotta play it. We gotta make some space. Let's get rid of Siren. Let's get rid of Broad Parasite. Leave yet the medics. 
Kaktiala. Nice to see you. Arkmonian could be lethal, huh? Let's take a look. Four. 15 additional damage. One. Uh, Adin, Shetiria, Siem, David, Desir. Yes. You missed two damage. How, how did I miss two damage? Yeah, super. Tui? Da, ja, super Doge. Spasiva. I missed two damage? Last turn, only two were sleeping. So I didn't hit with Canopy Sniper and the Aunt? By the way, Kapanov and Galborn. Welcome back, guys. Nice to see you. Yeah, sometimes... Yeah, sometimes I'm thinking too far ahead and then I'm forgetting what I'm doing at the moment. I really have to pay more attention to that. Thank you for mentioning it. It's pretty important that I... that I really get my... my gaming going in the right direction. Hmm. These two damage could have been important. Ja, wir haben echt Glück gehabt, dass es trotzdem gereicht hat. Manchmal sind die 1-2 Schaden, die fehlen, wenn ich die irgendwann mal vergesse. Alright, let's shuffle Mirtus Daughter in. This is card draw magic. With Hortag and with Alastrina Prime Refactor. Okay, strange. He's also playing Varret. Heromite Warden. I'm not quite sure what to think about this deck. I guess I'll shuffle Canopy Sniper in and Landcaller Captain too. Fox One Protector should be good in this matchup. Crawling Madness. I think it's okay, we keep it. Could be good, could be meh. Depends if he got a tracking bolt and how we are going to play it. Starting right away with his pip. Demetrios. Oh, and we cannot finish it, so he's definitely going to draw two cards with his final draft. Hmm, damn it. Would have been great if he could have killed him with an underbrush boar, I think. Hey Doro, schön dich zu sehen. Wie geht's? Wow, 10 streams in a row again. Thank you so much for watching. How do we do it? How do we do it? I'm not sure. This is not the way. One of those crawling madness ants is going to hit this guy, I guess. Heute Abend Baldur's Gate. Oh ja, da schalte ich ein vor der Nachtschicht. I, I guess we gotta play Crawling Madness. Maybe Barkspawn Protector would in general be alright too. But... Gerne doch. But the thing is, I'm afraid we are too slow, but now... That those arms were hitting the Metrios, we are too slow anyway. It's just bad. Hmm. We have to run into him with all because he can ping our arms or play a tracking bolt. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should have played Bark Swan Protector and wait one turn longer for Crawling Madness, but. Ah, I don't know. And now, Rune. Awaken. Rune Moth. Oh god. We for sure have a huge problem here. Uh, I think River Jumper is the only one 
who can help right now. I think if he play Landcaller Captain, he is for sure having a tracking bolt. He can finish that one easily. He got a rune of strength. We have a problem too. Starshot bolt. Okay, this is all right. Hmm, rune of strength. Ah, oh, this is crazy. We gotta finish them the rune moth. It's very likely that we are just getting an aunt back from Pyramide Warden. But better an aunt than uh, nothing. Tracking bolt. Tracking bolt. I like that. That means it's less likely that he's going to have a tracking bolt when we play Landcaller Captain. But still, I think we are fucked. He's going to obliterate River Jumper Captain and Mirtus Daughter. Okay. Feet on blade. How likely is it that Feetorn Blade is going to stick to the board here for Landcaller Captain? I guess that's pretty unlikely. So, but I guess let's play it and let's play Protector to ping that small Pyramide Warden down. Getting back our aunt that attacks because he can ping it. You should be taking notes. We can grab the rune of I oh blade of fight plane. Never mind. He's trading. Answer the call. Ah, in big, big trade. I think I have a spell for that. Rune of Fire. And <laughs> the Blade of White Plane. Insane, he got so many cards and we have just two. Wow. Yeah, those Pyramid Wardens were keeping us off quite a while, and he was getting nice resources with Demetrios and Rune Moth. I guess we are done. We can try Falling Star, but he's going to clear the board, I guess, with something. This board is also strong enough to take on those. It's getting really hot in here already. I'm wondering how long I can stream when summer really starts kicking in here in Germany. I'm afraid streams are probably going to get shorter in summer. My PC is getting pretty hot. These lights are coming down pretty hot. And I'm at the top floor, so I'm going to die already, and it's not even really hot outside. Leyline feet.
down season. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe we have a tiny chance if we can transform this into hollow form. Then we dread touch this and hope that some ants are sticking to the board and we do great damage. But he might be killing us now. We are down to 14 already. Kleiner mobiler Lüfter? Hm, naja, wenn hier die Luft nur ein bisschen rumgewirbelt wird, bringt das glaube ich nicht viel. Warum ist denn jetzt hier mein... Screen. Den. Muss ich mal überlegen, ob da noch irgendwas geht. I guess I'll play Canopy Sniper. I'll sacrifice Canopy Es gibt auch welche, die kühlen. Martin hat sowas. Okay. Hm, gute Idee. Ah, oh, fuck. Our arms are gone. Ah. Ah, oh, goddammit. Oh, now he's going to kill us anyway. Yeah, GG. There was nothing we could do. He... He was playing out his advantages pretty nice. Ich habe auch mal so... So komische Kühlungsdinger gesehen, die waren so, so groß, quadratisch, bei Lidl. Vielleicht muss ich mir sowas auch mal besorgen. So Mini-Klimaanlagen-Lüfter-Dinger. Ansonsten gibt es auch Thermorollos und Pisses fürs Fenster. Ja. Hm. Ja. Das Problem ist halt, die Wärme kommt von innen bei mir hauptsächlich im Moment. Der Rechner schmeißt halt Wärme und die Lichter. Um, how you face with magic with Amazons? Mm, you have to... You have to have the right cards to face magic. You need your warded Amazons like River Jumper Captain and Bugs Fawn Protector. Or maybe also if you play it Amazon Spellcatcher, those have all ward. And then you just have to be fast. Play out your cards fast. If you can get, get a front line from the Sanctum, because the front line cannot clear by shaped blast, together with your other cards, and then you just make pressure and race for face. To finish him hopefully before 7 mana. And if you cannot finish him before 7 mana, you try to go for mutations. Try to find mutations to get hollow form and then overrun him with that. Good luck. All right, let's start fast with those two one drops. This is Bomb Dragon. Awaken. Ah, okay. Don't like this. Es gibt so ein paar Low-Budget-Möglichkeiten, aber bei deiner Wärmeentwicklung nutzt das wenig. Ja, also ich muss mich mal ein bisschen belesen. Ich glaube, es muss nicht unbedingt eine Low-Budget-Möglichkeit sein. Ich kann auch mal 100 Euro oder 200 Euro in die Hand nehmen. Hauptsache, es hält und es bringt halt auch was. Okay, he couldn't trigger the afterlife of the broad parasite. That's cool. Let's try to rush him down. But do we take Hoplite or do we want to play Crawling Madness already? I guess we can be as fast as with Crawling Madness when we take Hoplite and play Sanctum Guardian. And 
Let's keep crawling Madness as our oh shit card if he can really develop some board. Ah, he's using Blight Bomb to kill his own Blood Parasite. That's funny. I like that. Okay, yeah, he's going pretty wide. So I'm glad we still have our Crawling Madness. Whoa, Myrtle's daughter. Okay. Ansonsten musst du halt zukünftig aus dem Eisbad streamen. Jo, da hab ich auch nichts dagegen. Let's sacrifice Irina. And I guess we trade for this dragon. And we hit the face for two. Freut sich Bully wieder. Bestimmt. Und alle anderen bestimmt auch. Oder die meisten. Da kann ich halt auch nicht so lange streamen. Ne? Dann bin ich ja halt total verschrumpelt. Ah, let's skip that song. I think the vocals are a little bit annoying. Okay. We could actually banish his Brot Parasite. But it might be more reasonable to raise for face with Myrtle's daughter. I can't do that. I'm not sure if I should get anything here. Maybe Onyx Nightblade. So he cannot easily go for Sanctum Guardian. Oh, trigger that afterlife twice. That is annoying. But We could finish two and deal two damage into his face. Let's play Spear Fisher. We gotta do it. Lightning Strike. If he had now mana left, plan the hunt. Aspect of the Axolotl. It's getting close, I guess. Valkast is cut. Might be dangerous, but can he really get it? I'll take it, just in case. Let's see. Ah, he's triggering the Broad Parasite again. Voracuous Fiend can leech him a little. But we can finish his big guy. GG. Alright, this, this was a fast paced match. Pretty interesting. Going back and forth, I like that pretty much. So we are standing 4-2 at 1.19k of fragments. I think it's quite good so far. Maybe we can end 6-4. We keep going like this. 6-4 or 7-3 would be neat. Let's try our best. Yesterday was really cool with 13 gods. That's nearly a sealed entry. So, who's going to be? Hmm. How many gods? Yesterday? 13.3. Nearly a sealed entry.
Guess our bad day is Sunday with six point something. What? Damn, it's cool to see. You've stuck with Amazons and they're treating you kindly most of the time. Most of the time, but sometimes <laughs> it depends. It really depends. We are going against death again. I'll keep this. Hey Crypto, welcome back. Nice to see you. I hope. Um, bye. Bye. Let's play Boa on Curve. Mode 7, welcome back. Now got $10. And you make a hundred dollar each day. I wish it was like that. And if that this would be reliable like this, I would quit my job. Okay, I think this is time for crawling madness because our creatures are going to die anyway. Necro Scepter. We have no relic removal ready. Me too, yeah. I'm afraid this will probably never happen. My turn. But I need to build my collection first. Okay, okay, yeah. Let's play Phaeton Blade and Nightly Hunter to ping the zombie. Raid it off, and then we hit the face for two again. One dollar per day must be enough in some countries. Could be. Could be, depending on how the exchange rate is with dollar and your currency. Yes, a bag of potatoes is all I need. Myrtle's daughter. Myrtle's daughter. How do we do? If we not play Myrtle's daughter, we could finish the Flatling easy. Or do we, we do Myrtle's daughter? Buff. We kill the zombie. Hit the face. With all of those, and we trade the flatling, and the flatling just kills one of those aunts. Grab. Ambitious adventurer. Nice! Now that I can splurge on that 15.99 KFC Superstars box of spicy chicken. Twelve dollars for promotion. Okay. Mm, I don't know. I haven't been to KFC ever. Every person in Venezuela should play Gods. Mm, GG. All right, five wins. I think earning uh, one dollar in gods, if you play every day with a full meteorite budget deck is quite possible, even if you are in diamond or gold.
How much is one god now at the moment? I think 20 cents maybe? Twenty two twenty two cents. Yeah, some only make a few dollars all week. 0.26? Ah, okay, then I was looking, taking a look at euro cents. Yeah, in euro cents, it's 0 0.24. Okay. 0 0.26 in dollar cents. We are already at five wins, guys. Pretty cool. Oh, and now we play against Irina Deception. I think when they are not having their dolts, we should be able to finish them. But when they get their dolts, we are in trouble. Watch your back. Just make a potato bake. Should I? No potato? For sure potato. Germany, you need potatoes. Potatoes important. Sweet potato then. Any potato. A pity that we cannot kill his tooth fee. Yeah, every potato is good. Nur viel Kartoffel. Oh ja. Yeah. I'm a little bit afraid of Armor Lurker. A canopy sniper cannot take it. Anything. Ah, he plays Irina. We can kill her. For sure. Yes. Let's go. Last I checked, can buy ramen for 25 cents a piece. Hmm? All ramen and sealed diet. I think this is not good for your stomach. This is a lot for a single noodle. Ah, he got to play his doll already. He just used his god power twice. Ah, he got from something from Tooth Fee too. Okay. He got, he's gone pretty wide. But I guess we can clear the board with the help of my Amazons. Let's play Sanctum Guardian at the trial to get Diffia. That's enough for now. He cannot send our cards back to our hand. GG, we did it! Yes! All right. All right, this seems to be like a good day today. Just make sure no SMG. What is SMG? That deck doesn't beat aggro. Hopefully not. But you can also brick with aggro decks when you play five mana cards and so on. This looks good. We keep it. It's unlikely. The calm before but the I've seen it. Good luck. 
This is a start I really like. Going with Irina and Nightleaf Hunter together. And Flame Self. Ah, he's keeping us off. Answer the call. Hmm. I'll go for God Power. Whoa, holy crap. This is all so great, but I go for Grassroots against Bomb Dragons. Oh, is it Bomb Dragons? No, it's Bitter Endings. Fuck, maybe this was a mistake. Hmm. I should have gone for Arcmonian, I guess. Broad Parasite. Hopefully he cannot kill Broad Parasite yet, then grass Grassroots will pay off. Yeah, don't kill it. My turn. He's not going to kill Alright, we are finishing... This one. Oblivion is merely a second deck of cards. Yeah. I think so too. Very nice. Oh no, another one. Damn it, and now we got untold greed. He's not having enough cards in his hand, right? He needs six. Yeah, he needs to have six cards. So I guess we play Piton Blade and... We bump into this. Then we play Penticillian Warrior and we snipe it down. Uh, we cannot kill the Rock Drake Act, though. Oh, we could uh, if he played differently. Damn it! It should have should have finished it with Onyx Nightblade, I guess. Ah! I hope that mistake will not cost our hat, but I guess it will. And now we got six cards ready with that draw to get the Rock Drake. Mm, okay. What would Rock Drake taste like if it was just Yolk? What is Yolk? Ever heard about Yolk? This is not the way. <laughs> My turn. Ooh. I know he's. It's like the yellow stuff? The yellow part of the egg, you mean? I have no clue. Learned a new word, I guess. Cool. Yolk. I have to keep it in mind. Every life lost is a tragedy. My patience wears thin. I prepare the albumen. And what is albumen? Is that the white part? I prepare girls. <laughs> yeah, me too. Bitter endings. Uh oh. Yolk, the yellow, and albumen. White. Okay. We have the two Eton blades sticking. Now. Dash bind. It's getting close. 
can play this again? No. Oh, fuck. Ah, shit. I guess we are in trouble now. I don't know. I just don't know. Uh-oh. When he's hitting off base, this cannot mean, mean something good. Yeah, he's having her in his hand again. Fine elemental. Siren! Oh no! God damn it. Told greet. This is crazy. This is just so crazy. You won! You think so? I am not sure about it. I sold my siren. Why did you do? They will take 15 damage. He? Yes? From... This is not did I endings? Okay. But... Yes? Where is it? If you do, at the end of your next turn, take 15 damage. Okay, this sounds good. <laughs> Usually I never survive that long after a game against a bitter ending stack, so... I didn't even know. Economics again. Yeah, having another bit of endings. This is scary. Step aside. How, can this? How can he do so much stuff? He's looping it all. He can return a card from Void with that. He can refresh five mana with this. He's always returning this to his hand again because he got less than 15 health and she's not costing any mana because he got it with bitter, he got her with bitter endings. It's like crazy. But it seems like he got to finish us this turn and I think he might cannot do it if we are lucky. Got three cards left, soul burn. He got us down to five though, that's... Crazy, how much life do, did we have? Like 14 or something? Or 18? I'm not sure how much we had, but yeah. I couldn't see how he could win that. Me too, but he tried. But sure, he did a lot of stuff, yeah. He was just juggling funny egg jokes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That guy was a Madoba? No, he wasn't. 
We played already against Madoba and he was not sniping. And he has not his name hidden. I'm not sure about this hand. Let's shuffle Sanctum Guardian in. We keep the boar for sure. He's playing Olympian Light. The boar will be essential. River Jumper. We keep. The calm before the storm. Let's start with Irina. Oh yeah, Crawling Madness is in this matchup important too. These two cards are great against Olympians. We have to make sure we gain control of the bar of the board early, and then everything will be all right. Oh yeah, Theodore! Hello, hello! Welcome on board, and thank you so much for the follow. I hope you are going to enjoy the stream. Take a seat. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for following, man. I highly appreciate your support. Blood Oath Binder. Ah, he can snack or bore. Why W? What does that mean? I'm sometimes not sure with abbreviations. So enlighten me. You're welcome. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome too. Let's sacrifice her to clear the board. We could have also played Underbrush Boar for some good trades. But I think it's way more important to keep the board clean against light decks like this. Oh, my coffee cup is empty. You have English and German viewers. Yes, I have. And some viewers are also from Singapore and some are from wherever. I don't know. A lot of people. Istanbul. For example. From Russia. From Russia with love. I guess we have to play the boar, but let's take a look what we can get here. Oh, Raid Swarm. Raid Swarm is good. North Pole. Indonesian. Cool. Come on. Ah, that was the wrong one. Hmm, now I'm a little bit afraid we have a problem. Maybe we should have played... Nah, I don't know. Oof, he's getting big already. I'm afraid we are in trouble. We are, we are in a lot of trouble. Big, big trouble. Uh oh. What are we going to do now? We gotta find big spell. Oh, oh, we could try grassroots, but that's so random. Ah, screw it. Fuck. Nah, this was not a good idea. I, I guess we should have taken Swallow Hole. I don't know, I don't know. But we are going to lose this, I guess. Hmm. 
Is it true about the elves? Which elves? The high elves? The woodland elves or the drow? And what do they tell about the elves? It depends on weather. Woodland, Sivan or drow elves. But they have a decent wages, yes? Good to know. Beat me to it, Constantine. <laughs> For sure. Oh my god, what are we going to do here? Okay. Let's create something cool. Falling Star sounds good. Then we play Raid Swarm on this guy, so we are not dying that fast, and we pass. Uh, oh, I should have taken that Onyx Nightblade. Hopefully he cannot get it now. We could snack the Overgrown Golem and sacrifice it for two mutations. Oh, we need three mutations. I'm happy they are happy. Yeah, I'm happy too that they are happy. Oh fuck, and now we cannot snack this anymore. Oh, we should have done that last turn. I'm afraid we are going to die soon. Yes. It's too late. I misplayed too often in this matchup, I guess. We could have won that if we played right from the beginning correctly with the Leyline Feeder. I think... Hmm... Apex Crypto! Hello, hello! Nice to see you! And thank you so much for the follow! Welcome on board, I hope you enjoy the stream! Um... So I don't know what we are going to do. Can do 12 damage, I guess we play just Falling Star and hope that he is going to... I care about these batchers and we survive a little longer, but I I think we are dead. Actually. Oh, Aegis of the Innocent. That's crazy. GG. Hmm. Yeah, I think the game was probably decided when our underbrush boar was attacking his one one guy instead of instead of his teddy. But it's all right. I'm happy with seven wins. Pretty happy. Let's take a look at our fragments. One point seven three k. Yeah, that Aegis is a problem, dude. For sure. That means we are going to have like about 13 gods again, like yesterday. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Alright. So guys, I'm going to take a short break to get a fresh cup of coffee. And then I'll be right back. With Magic the Gathering Arena, we are going to play an Outlaws of Thunder Junction Quick Draft. I hope you are going to enjoy that too. Even though it's not a crypto game, it's just a normal card game. If you have any questions, I'm happy to try to answer you regarding Magic especially. So guys, let's get a coffee and if you gotta go, have a nice day. Good luck for your games and thank you so much for watching. I'll be right back.